Hello and a big welcome to a very special interview today. I am joined by the fabulous Liz Peck and I'm really excited to ask her a whole heap of questions about what it takes to become a virtual assistant and sort of becoming someone who offers service-based products. So hi Liz, I'm so excited to have you here. I was wondering, could you introduce yourself and what you do? Of course. Hi Jessa. For everyone that doesn't know me, my name is Liz and I've been working basically my whole life in admin roles, so probably the last 20 years. Um, and I started working remotely online sort of just before COVID hit. Um, I originally left my corporate job to work as a children's face painter and try something different because I was looking for some way of making money that I enjoyed. Um, and then COVID sort of wiped out that whole industry. And so I started playing around online, um, making digital products. And then I started freelancing for a coach, um, a careers coach, helping her with her social media. And then I expanded to help some other coaches with social media and community. And then I sort of was trying to build up an Etsy store and I met Jessa. And then Jessa's family got COVID <laughs> after we'd become friends. And um, she needed help with her community. So I stepped in and helped her and been there ever since. I remember that so clearly. Like Liz was literally my very first team member. Nothing was in place. We had no systems. It was just like an absolute free for all. And she came in and she fixed everything and she's been with me ever since. <laughs> so I would, for those watching who don't know or haven't heard of the term before, what is a virtual assistant? So basically a virtual assistant is a professional who works remotely and helps business owners with any tasks that they need doing in their business. So they handle a wide range of things. It could be um, admin tasks to social media, to coordinating projects um, or customer service and community. It just depends, but it's a wide range of tasks that they could definitely offer. It's amazing. And obviously your background comes from like, you've done quite a lot of things yourself. Like you said, you've done social media. I know for me, like you've helped with like automations and you, well, you basically catch everything that I throw at you as well. So you can do so many different things, can't you? Yeah. And I think so in just working in offices over the years, I think that's just something that you, you build up. It's just a portfolio of experience from working in an office. Absolutely. Now, what type of tasks would you say are currently in demand for virtual assistants at the moment? Definitely social media management because people don't have time to manage it and a lot of people don't want to manage it as well. Um, then you've got admin support, so emails, the, the dreaded tasks. I know you hate that one as well. <laughs> um, customer service and community support. So responding to all inquiries and um, questions in groups and things, and just making sure that things are answered. And then marketing support, so helping with lead generation, so email campaigns, um, building funnels, et cetera. They're the most popular ones. It's amazing. It's like there's lots of different things that you can do. And I think um, that kind of segues into the question I have about as an Etsy seller, like do you think adding – virtual assistant services is like a good idea to kind of sort of have some, like obviously we're focused on selling digital products a lot of the time. We're focused on building those up, but can it be a great thing to add in some virtual assistant services to the loop as well? Yeah, definitely, because it will diversify your income um, and it helps other business owners. So um, many Etsy sellers themselves are looking for support with listing products, um, the SEO side, um, and just shop management, so updating pricing, updating listings for digital product sellers. If there's broken links, I mean, how much of a nightmare is it having to go through and redo your download instruction sheets, you know, help with all of those tasks? <laughs> we know that that one's a nightmare. So, yeah, and it can lead to ongoing work long term because you build those relationships with people and once, once you know your way around their store and helping them, they tend to want you to stick around and keep doing it. Absolutely. I definitely did. I was like, I think I was like a month in after you joined me and I'm like, okay, I can never work without you again. You completely changed <laughs> everything for me. So 
if we're taking it from the perspective of people who are currently selling digital products, probably on Etsy, what are some of the services that would work really well with that skill set? Okay. So if you're creating your own digital product business, you're developing your own range of skills. So there's quite a wide range of skills that you start to learn. So things like product listing and SEO, um, social media management, because you're probably doing that for your own um, store as well. Email marketing setup, because you've probably figured out how to do that to create your own email marketing list. Um, community management, because at some point you're talking to your customers, you're answering questions, so you start to get those skills. Um, graphic design and product creation. So if if you enjoy that side of it and you want to be a like a, a design assistant, then that's definitely a service you could offer. Um, website and store management, Pinterest management, um, even helping people with their launches or, or content creation and blogging as well. So there's quite a wide range that would link in with digital products. It's funny because it's like I don't think we usually sort of think through that we are creating skills that other people do need. So while you're learning them for yourself for the first time, it is actually a product in itself that you can sell as a service, which is really, really cool. Out there, I know as well, like um, recently you did a Vela training. Vela is a software for Etsy and it basically allows virtual assistants to help Etsy sellers. Liz did a training for Passive Income Society on Vela and the software. So even just that ability to be able to, I guess, like use different types of softwares, I think that's that's a really good thing to know as well, isn't it? Yeah. So there's there's a lot of people that just specialize in being a tech virtual assistant because they pick up software really easily and I know that's something that I do as well I just okay I, I log into something and I'm like yeah I can see how to work this and so some people have that natural ability so that's always a good option as well if that's you absolutely would you say like the best thing is to kind of have a big think about the way that you work best yourself and not trying to I guess be everything at once but sort of what would you suggest there Think about what you enjoy. So do you, if you were someone that enjoys um, learning new software and figuring things out, then yeah, becoming a tech VA might be a good option. Whereas if you really enjoy designing things, then becoming a design VA is something that you're going to enjoy. And the more you enjoy it, the more you're going to stick to it. So it's really just thinking about, you know, what you enjoy and also thinking about your own personality type as well. So for me, I'm an introvert, so I like to be more in the background than at the forefront so if you're an introvert like me you don't want to be doing all of these things out front so you don't want to be throwing yourself into anything that's too full-on <laughs> so you always want to think about that as well <laughs> whenever it comes to think, you know planning out what you want to offer and so um, I think that when it comes to a VA um, introverts do really well with it because most of it is behind the scenes so I think it's just yeah, going with going with what you really enjoy doing and just having a good long think about what it is that you enjoy and would want to help people with the day to day. I love that. Do you enjoy being a V? Well, you you're much more than a VA because you are my business operations manager. But I mean you started as sort of like a VA. Do you enjoy it? Is it like something that you like doing? I, I like a variety. So I, I like different things and, I, you know, I like to get stuck into something juicy. So I, I like a, a bit of a challenge. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I think that um, it all depends what you like. So I like being behind the scenes, getting stuck into a challenge, something big that's, that needs a lot of parts, I suppose. It seems to be my happy place, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I do know you love a challenge. I know you love a curveball as well. Like um, it's not out of the ordinary where I'll be like, okay, Liz, we're doing, we're dropping everything and we're doing this and she'll grab everything. And I guess like your gift is that ability that you can just, I guess you can see things and you can break it down in a way that a lot of people can't. So it's, um, yeah. Okay. So when it comes to being a virtual assistant, how does that compare to sort of like a normal, like traditional office job where you go and sort of work at the office? What's the difference? So I suppose it gives you flexibility. So you can work your own hours. Um, you're more independent. So 
you can take control of your work. You're your own boss. Um, you get to choose what work you, you actually want to do. Um, you get a variety. Um, it is scalable because you can take on more customers. So it all just depends, you know, there's lots of different benefits. It, you need to be a person, though, that can work remotely and work solidly by yourself. Um, and I know a lot of people do struggle with that too. So definitely you need that personality type that you can just get on with the work yourself. Mm, absolutely. I mean, yeah, you're a great planner. You're very organised. Those are some of your qualities. But um, is there anything like when we're sort of looking at ourselves as I guess someone who could potentially be a VA, is there anything we should consider before we sort of jump in? You want to consider what skills you have and think about what's in demand. So be honest with yourself about what you could offer um, and what you're willing to learn. So I think one of the most important things is that as a virtual assistant, you sort of have to jump in before you're ready and you need to learn as you go. And I think that that's something that people struggle with as well. So you need to be able to manage your time. You need to be able to pick a niche that you want to work in. You need to have some self-discipline, but you need to be able to just go, okay, this is what I'm going to do and just get started and then just learn as you go. I love that. I think that's the same with any any skill really like even when it comes to like digital products it's all about like jumping in before you feel 100% ready and just like doing your best and just learning on the job so okay now if obviously you have worked with me for ages you've worked as a VA online for years and years and years if there was someone who was starting right now brand new no experience what would be the number one piece of advice you would give them they have to be resourceful. So they need to figure things out. Like if you come across something that you don't know how to do, look up on Google or YouTube, find a tutorial, figure it out. If there's a skill that you know that you need to learn in order to be in a specific niche that you want to be in, find out where you can learn it. Maybe there's a Udemy course or a short course that you can do that just gives you those skills. So it's just being resourceful, I think, is the, the number one skill. I love that. That's so true as well. Like that's one of the things I really appreciate about the way that like you support me as well. Like a lot of the time when you're a business owner, you will have like a lot going on. Your capacity goes up and down and up and down. And I think that sometimes I will throw things at you that I don't fully explain and you're able to catch them and kind of problem solve them. And I think it's that um, that makes you so invaluable. So I think, yeah, you're spot on. Being resourceful is amazing. And I mean, that goes for other industries as well. Like even with digital products, when you first start with it, you've got to figure everything out. So it's the same same thing across different industries. Absolutely. You're always going to look back and see like a massive change. Like you, you're never going to be perfect when you first start. Like a year later, you're always going to look back and be like, wow, man, <laughs> I really didn't know what I'm doing compared to what I know now. So it's yeah, better to jump in sooner than later, I think. Now, I know that it has been a really exciting week because you have just launched your brand new membership, which teaches people how to do what you do, how to be a virtual assistant. So I want to know, like, what inspired you to actually make this membership? Well, after working as a VA myself um, and helping lots of entrepreneurs and business owners, I could see that there was a, a need for some structured guidance because there's a lot of fluff out there and people aren't teaching you actually how to do things. Um, so I think that was the main reason. Um, but I also wanted to create a community and membership that offers real actionable training, so step-by-step -step training to help people actually be successful and focus on skills, mindset, and managing their clients. So it's more hands-on, not just the fluff. I love that, especially if you're brand new and you just like want that support as well. I think um, it's pretty special that there's a community that goes along with it. And I've seen you in there already answering lots of questions. It's been amazing. So can you tell us a little bit more about the membership overall? How can people work with you? Where can they find you if they don't, if they're not ready to join the membership yet? Is there anywhere online they can connect with you? Sure. 
So they're welcome to and anyone's welcome to join the membership. It's the Part-Time Virtual Assistant Academy. Um, so in there, we've got ongoing support in the Facebook group, which is a private community. There's a training portal full of information with resources as well. Um, and we'll be adding to that regularly with more tutorials as well. Um, we also have a free Facebook group, which is the VA and Freelancer Network, which is a Facebook community um, where you can join up. We're going to be adding a job board and a directory that connects the VAs to the clients eventually as well. Um, and you can also follow me on YouTube for helpful videos and advice about being a VA and growing in your business. That's amazing. So lots of places to connect with you totally for free. How much is the part-time Virtual Assistant Academy? It's only $7 a month at the moment, so $7 US per month. But it will be going up once we've got a lot more trainings in there. That's amazing. Well, so limited time, you can join for $7. Will you always be $7 if you join for now? No, it's definitely going to be going up um, once we've added in a lot more tutorials. So it'll definitely be jumping up probably to $47 or $49 a month. Yeah, but if you join right now, you can get it for $7 and it'll $7. always be $7 for you, won't it? If you join oh, yes, now. they'll be grandfathered, grandfathered in for $7 if they join now. Amazing. Well, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I mean, like, yeah, I think it's really, really um, interesting just to chat with you about virtual assisting, I guess. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's been wonderful. I just, I just love you to bits. I think like you've changed my business so much. Like you, um, it's, it's so incredible what it means to build a team. And I think like, We've been really lucky because you came in and you joined the team first and you were able to kind of join, like train the team underneath you. So, yeah, really, really excited for everything ahead. Really excited you have, you're now training like a whole army of VAs. I think that they're going to be amazing. And, yeah, well, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye for now.